Okay, hi everyone. It's Miss Holden here. I just wanted to come on here, um, make a video, go over our new packet again, since so many of you guys found our last video of the explanation of the packet so helpful. Um, so we do have packet pickup um, Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday is from 10 to 1 and Wednesday is from 8 to 1. You can pick up your packets. Um, there's usually someone there until 3. Um, so if you've needed to go after one you're probably going to be fine until three you'll just have to go into the office instead of drive up um but when you pick up your packet it's going to be in this nice baggie is a black bag everything that you need is going to be in here um when you open it up i have another one right here um we put a pencil and eraser in the, ba the baggies this time to kind of just get the kids a little bit excited um, then of course on the front, we have our suggested daily schedule, um, as always, just like last time, um, uh, just a breakdown of what is in the packet and then our suggested schedule. So again, you don't have to use this schedule just like last time. You don't have to go by the schedule. It's just a suggested schedule. Um, just something to make sure that we're getting the kids on a schedule and a routine that way um, it makes learning easier and it makes the kids have less anxiety and be nervous about things so it's really good to keep them in a routine with the work um, again we don't recommend any more um, let's see no more than three to four hours of work if your kid is bored and they're wanting to do more educational stuff that is awesome I love that um, that's when I would feel free to do, you know, happy numbers or epic reading, um, any of the online resources, benchmark reading, um, benchmark games, all of those things are extra. The stuff in the packet is required. So this stuff is, would be a priority if they're done with this stuff and they're looking for more things to do. That's when I would have them hop up on those other resources online. So again, when you open it up, we have the suggested daily schedule, you flip it over, and we have the same schedule as we had last time, just so you guys, because you guys are used to this one with this one already, we wanted to keep it simple. Um, week one, day one, that is today, Monday, April 13th, no school, we are still on spring break this day, so um, our lesson plans don't start until Tuesday the 14th, um, that's also tomorrow, that's his, this is pickup day. Um, and it's the same thing, so it has a breakdown of what we're doing for every single day. So this is all week one, week two, and week three. So everything's written down right here. The titles um, also line up with the packet title that's on, or the page title. So math lesson 11.5, guided practice page 636, and independent practice page 636 to 638. That will literally say that on your paper. So it all matches up. So I would use this to check off as you finish the tasks for the day, helps keep things organized. And then it's easy to know, it's easy for the kids to see how much more they have to do before they're done with their work for the day. So again, we have our suggested schedule on the front, and then on the back, we have their learning schedule of what they are doing for the day. Each day is broken down. And then we also have their reading log. So this is week one, week two, and week three. They choose a book, any book. Monday, how did the story end? Write about it in your journal. How does the main character feel in this book on Tuesday? Write about that in your journal. So different things of your book. And you can use the same book for the whole week. If you want to read it every single day, that is fine. Or each one can have a new book. That is fine too. Whatever you prefer. Um, either of those work. So in, in your packets. Oh, it's all the way on the back. Let me grab it. In the packets are journals. Uh, little notebooks. So they're not used to writing on this type of paper. But it was what we had. So we had to make do. So... If you have paper that um, they feel more comfortable with, that is fine. Um, but we had to make do with what we had. So this is what we had in our classrooms. And then also there are more girly ones than there are boy ones. So if you have a preference, make sure to note it when you pick up um, that you would like something that's more boyish or gender neutral. We just used what we had in the classroom and we 
tended to have more girl stuff. So I am sorry about that, but we had to use what we had. So again, this is your journal. You are going to keep this journal for this three weeks and we're not sure if our school closure is going to be extended. If it is, you will use this for those other three weeks as well. So don't get rid of this notebook. You guys are going to be using it for all of your reading logs. So we have our reading log. Again, week one, week two, and week three. This is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so on. So again, suggest a daily schedule, learning schedule, and then our reading log or journal, notebook. So when you, after you go through all of that, then we have this packet. This says unit nine, week one. So this is still gonna be our week one that we're starting with on Tuesday. And this is gonna be the story for week one, okay? And then we have, we actually have two stories for week one. So these are all labeled. These are all the stories that we're gonna be using. And then it goes into unit, well, it should say unit nine, week two so this would be week two so we just put all of the stories together that we were they were all in one place and they're easy to refer to um let's see and some of these you know are just make you think about the story a little bit so and then unit nine week three so there's three four stories in here um these are all together you need to read these in order to do some of the worksheets so that's the first packet that you'll see when you open up your um, distant learning Ziploc bag packet when you get it. The next packet that you'll see is actually the work packet. So there's lots of packets in here and it's just because we split everything up. That way they all were individual. So unit nine, week one. This is our unit. We use goods and services. Here are our spelling words. Spelling words and phonics are optional for as of now. You don't have to work on these. Um, we had some parents requesting it, so we decided to add it in um, just for good measure. You can do spelling word practice. You can do a practice spelling test. Um, it's extra practice if needed, but it is optional, so it's not our priority right now. Our priority is the reading skills. But we did put it in here. So unit nine, week one, this would start our unit. Here's some spelling practice. And then we have our pages again, week one, day two, because we're starting on day two for week one. And then it goes week one, day three, week one, day three. So again, just like last time, these are all labeled at the top, week one, day four, week one, day five. So again, all, everything is labeled at the top. And it goes all the way to week three, day five. So again, if you look at your learning schedule, I go to week three, day five, it says right here, explain, or sorry, expand declarative and exclamatory sentences. Just what it says up here. So again, the worksheets match with the paper. So it shouldn't be too hard to figure out, oh wait, which paper am I supposed to be working on next? Which worksheet are we working on? So it should be pretty easily laid out. This is the first or the second packet that you'll see. So the first packet, when you opened it up, were all the stories that you needed for the worksheets that are in here. So for example, week one, day two, we're doing key details from the story from Dairy Farm to You. So I'm gonna go over here. Here's from Dairy Farm to You. Read the story and then we're using key details to write sequence of events of what happened in the story. So the story title, what you need to read is right up here from Dairy Farm to You. It's at the top of the page. So that is your, this is your second packet. This is the work packet that they will actually be using. The, the kids will be actually using. The next packet is the same exact packet that you just saw, but it is a parent copy. So since this is no longer review work, this is now new material, new curriculum that they are learning. We included a parent copy with answer keys. So you know what we're expecting of them. This one has answer keys already typed in. And again, same thing, it has week one, day three, week one, day two. So same thing, it's still labeled all the same. This is just a parent copy, so you can make sure that the kids are um, on the right track and they're doing the work correctly. So 
So lots of handwritten key detail or answer keys for you guys. So then yes, as you keep going, then we get to week nine, unit two. We use this as our cover page. Again, spelling words and phonics are optional. We just really wanna focus on the reading skills. So again, um, answer keys, parent answer keys for you guys. Since I know this is difficult, but that is the next packet that you'll find after that. We do have our math packet. And same thing, week one, day two. So on your schedule, on the schedule, week one, day two, it says math lesson 11, five. If you look right here, topic 11, lesson five. So 11, five. <clears throat> it says page 636, page 636. And then it says independent practice, page 637 to 638. So then if you look, Here's 637, it says independent practice, and 638, math practice. So um, it lines up again up here at the top. They always use examples to show what is expected. Um, we will also be doing little lessons, um, sending instructional videos, showing the students how to do the problem so they can learn from us as well. After this packet, you will find the parent packet. Same thing, it's the same math packet as this one. This was the student copy. This one is the parent answer key. So again, here's the answers for everything so you know what we are expecting of them and the answers of what would be expected in class. Okay, after this, after that packet, we have our shared reading book. So. We will be working on unit nine. This has unit nine and 10 in it, but right now we're just, work, we're focusing on unit nine. Um, we are not working on this every day, okay? Um, this is only on, I believe, Wednesdays. Oh, wait, let me see. Mondays and Wednesdays normally, but since week one, does it have a Monday? We did Wednesday and Friday for week one. But then week two and week three, the purple book, the My Shared Readings, will be on Monday and Wednesday. But so what it says is shared reading almond milk. So this is on Wednesday. I'll take this out. I'll go over here. Almond milk, page two. And then we have... Almond milk, our shared readings. The kids read the story. Down here at the bottom is how we want them to annotate. Okay, so circle a word that has the same OW sound as brown, ow, ow. Underline the two verbs in the first sentence. Go to the first sentence, find the two verbs. So the two verbs would be people drink and enjoy. Um, put an asterisk next to an important detail from the text, whatever they think is important, and then they can respond and tell how it's important, their favorite part of the story, what they learned, and then they can draw a picture right here. So that's this one should not take long. This should be 10, 10 minutes, 15 minutes max. This takes us about 10 to 12 minutes um, in class, depends if we're using colors or not. Um, if we are using colors, it usually takes about 12 minutes. When we're not and we just use pencil, it takes us about 10 minutes to do. So this is not meant to take a long time. Um, don't be overwhelmed by this. This one is super easy. It's just to practice their reading skills and then their annotating skills. So to recall information from the text. So again, this purple book is the My Shared Readings. So we are only working on Unit 9. And then again, the stories on here, Almond Milk, match the title in here. So it's easy to find. Okay, lastly in your packet, what you will find is the My 120 chart. So this is just to help them with math. If they want to use it to count, you can practice um, 
adding by tens. You can practice skip jumping. You can practice number identification. So saying like, where's number 66? Or pointing to this number and saying, what is this number? And they have to say 83. So this is also really good. It comes with an Expo marker. We used this, we put these in there um, to help with the hundreds chart. We also have this blank back page. If you want to use, have your your child use the Expo marker to write spelling words, if you're going to be working on spelling words or sight words, whatever you want to use it for, it is optional. Um, but this 120 chart students are very familiar with and they do like to use when they're doing their math. So it would not hurt to have this out, have it handy. Um, if you're adding, say you're adding 32 plus 5, circle 32 with the Expo marker, do your jumps five, circle the ending number, that type of stuff is really helpful for them and they like to be able to see and visualize where it is on the chart. Um, so this is also in your packet. And then again, in the back will be the journal. So there's lots of packets in here only because we are including parent, oops, where did my stuff go? Only because we are including the parent answer keys. So again, when you open your packet, we have our schedule, a more detailed schedule of what we're doing. We have the reading logs. This packet is all of the stories for the whole three weeks. This packet is the student working packet. This packet is our parent, oops, sorry, it's all caught. Yeah, our parent copy, parent answer keys. This copy, student math work pages. This one right here, parent answer key for the math work pages. My shared reading book, 120 chart and an Expo marker. You can write right on here with your Expo marker. That's what this sheet is for. And then the journal. And then also I wanted to put out that there will be two new lessons a week. So they will be learning two new math lessons a week and two new ELA lessons a week. So what that will look like <clears throat> is on Mondays, let me find my, let me find my math. The same will go for ELA, but I'm just gonna use math as an example. Um, on Mondays, I will send out an instructional video of how to do this guided practice and independent practice. I will put out a video of instruction. The kids are to watch it. You can watch it, whatever works for you guys. And then the day that I that we watch that video, they will be doing the guided practice and independent practice. The following day, they will be doing the homework and practice. It's the same thing. It's just more practice on that same thing. So I won't be putting out a video that day. And then the following day, we have more guided practice and independent practice. So that day will be a new concept and I will be adding out an instructional video. So there will be two instructional videos for me a week for math. And then the other days that there is no video, they will just be doing <clears throat> homework and practice. So the same things that we have learned already, they'll just get, be getting extra practice. So same thing with ELA. I will be sending out two instructional videos of them knowing and learning new things. Um, the other days that don't have a video will just be review of the thing that we learned the day before. Um, as always, please, please, please don't, don't be afraid to send me questions, ask questions. I don't mind. I'm here for you guys. We're all overwhelmed during this time. I'm just trying to make it through. Um, and I definitely want to make sure that you guys are getting the best support that we can at home. Um, if you guys have any other questions concerning the packet, please let me know. Um, you can email me or message me on Parent Square. All right. Thanks for listening, guys. Bye.